everything that had ever happened to me was my energy. All the bad things, all the upsets, that would be my, you know, my fuel. Package it up, repress it deep down in the stomach and then let that drive me because I can use the pain to do good. We don't talk about our feelings. That was passed down to me. It was never my choice. That was, in, that was embedded in me. I think I learned to portray emotions through characters rather than being able to share my own emotion. My boss asked me if I was gonna vote. It was three weeks before the 2010 general election and I said, oh, I don't vote. Politics doesn't affect me. And it become really clear that the people most affected by politics are the least likely to be involved because they're not educated. We had put voter registration on the map. We had made it an issue for under-registered groups. No one could understand what I was doing, but I just knew this is my thing. I'm gonna do this. Because when I spoke about my project, I was really excited. There were problems, you know, money was difficult, always up and down. I would have moments where I would wonder if what I, if I was doing, if, if what I was doing was good enough. But it was always cycles of big spikes, lows. And I did think about it at times, like, I can't do this anymore. But I would always think about being my grandfather's age and just thinking, no, I'd regret it. If I walked away, I'd regret it. I've got to stick with it. I'd become so used to my work and, you know, I wouldn't even take in the moments of success because it was just next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. So when I was first inducted into Ashoka, Eleanor Gibson, who was helping my application, she mentioned the well-being. And just the sound of it, I said I'd love to do something like that. This could be a moment to just explore the repressed emotion. I was very judgmental of myself, like the parts of me that I would call my shadow. But then I learned to love him and forgive him and just become that that was part of me and that's cool. One of my core intentions on the wellbeing programme when we were asked on the first retreat was I wanted to learn how to love. And I did, and I have. I talk more, I'm more authentic. I can share my point of view now with my family. Um, and I never, I, I was never able to do that. I couldn't, I wouldn't talk about anything. I would just repress it. And now my work comes from a place of love, which is a far greater energy. It's, a, it's expansive, it's everywhere. You can choose to see it or choose not to, and I see it. So I'm not driven from frustration anymore. I'm not driven by hatred. I began to see people, really see people. And I had been seen, like truly been seen. I shared moments in my life that I'd, I could never talk about with anyone. And I wasn't feared, I wasn't scared of being judged. I owned my truth. I owned it.